Hello again. Welcome to this brand new episode of Exciting Careers in Power Systems Industry. In this episode, we are going to dive into the fascinating world of regulatory affairs in power systems. Professionals that are involved in regulatory affairs whether they are working for electrical utility companies, power generation companies, or any engineering firm for that reason, are responsible for making sure that these companies are in compliance with the federal, state, and local regulations. A lot of times, these businesses and companies are actually interacting with multiple stakeholders. Professionals who are dealing with regulatory affairs interact with the government bodies, understand different requirements, regulations, rules, and make sure that the companies are in compliance with these requirements. Sometimes interpreting such requirements can be challenging. A lot of times new rules and regulations are rolled out. Revisions are made to existing rules and there can also be certain deadlines or thresholds or caps that you may have to comply with. And limitations around production, or emissions can also become very critical. Professionals involved in this space also work closely with the legal teams in order to navigate complex regulations. These professionals also need to be up to speed with some of the technical aspects of this job. For instance, if you're dealing with an environmental regulation that relates to a particular chemical, then understanding the composition of that chemical, how it is produced, how it is disposed, what is the application, why does the company require to have this as part of the manufacturing process, how it should be transported and handled by the personnel, how it should be stored, what are the do's and don'ts around it. All of these require a certain level of technical skill set. On top of all of this, as you can probably appreciate, this particular domain of regulations is also a little bit of a political hot potato. Things like climate change, global warming, greenhouse gas emission, and the word regulation itself has been politicized. And the professionals who are involved in this space, they also have to stay up to date with the changing tides in terms of perception and political maneuvering. Sometimes businesses and companies have to make huge investments in order to meet, let's say, greenhouse gas emission or, or to limit their carbon footprint. There's a lot of business analysis that goes at the background as to how long this particular change in rules will stay. If it's a legal requirement, you obviously have to meet it. But if it is something that is optional or good for PR stunt, then you may look at it from a different angle. A lot of times, individuals who are dealing with regulatory affairs, most of the times these professionals are putting on different hats. They're interacting with multiple stakeholders at different levels. That requires them to shift gears all the time. The way that you interact with a community leader is gonna be very different when you're interacting with your legal counsel, which is gonna be very different when you're dealing with politicians, which again is gonna be very different than interacting with your vendors and suppliers. So if you have an interest in policy and passion for power systems industry, if you are comfortable juggling different roles, interacting with multiple stakeholders, figuring out rules and regulations, interpreting them, voicing your concerns, and helping your team and your employer, your company, implementing those changes who may not have a very solid background or prerequisite understanding of what you're explaining them, which obviously requires effective communication. And last but not the least is that you should not be put off by tons and tons of documentation. If this sounds interesting, then a career in regulatory affairs within power systems industry can have tons of opportunities for you. If you are a professional who is working in this space already or somebody who is interested in learning more about it, please feel free to share your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section of this video. Once again, thanks a lot for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below. You can find tons of success stories of my FE Electrical and P Power students over here. And if you want to learn more about preparation of FE Electrical and Computer Exam and the P Power Exam, then check out these playlists over here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.